The best part of creating miniature sets is really to inspire other people. What you're about to see is a fascinating behind the scenes look on how to create a high production value on a Hollywood scale using only miniatures and a little bit of post-production magic. Using assets from our new creators pack that we're giving away this holiday season. There's also an exciting giveaway waiting for you at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around. Now let's watch the final film created with the miniature sets and then we'll jump straight into the behind the scenes. Art Grid and Art List Holiday Sale. Get your free creators pack now. Inspiration comes from the little things. A beautiful piece of art. A song you heard. A new tool that helps you express yourself. This holiday season, we're giving a free creators pack the little things that make all the difference. Start creating without limits. So for me, the creative process starts with an idea. I had that thought before, a couple of months ago, to try to recreate sets from movies. It's really fascinating to see if it's possible by yourself from a small city in Sweden. So I thought to myself, okay, let's do it. Hollywood on a table. My name is Bastian Jörn and I'm a self-taught filmmaker from Sweden. And I started creating miniatures for about eight months now. So the first step I made to create these five sets was to really dig into the original sets and how they were made to see how I can implement the original set with a miniature version of it. I need to plan out the scale, what materials I should use, what size the diorama should be. After that, I go into the building process then we go into the lighting, the angle, the composition. And then we're into the filming, and that's actually the fastest part in the creative process. The most important part is to understand light, to create the right shadows and the right highlights. You can do the most amazing shots with even a mobile phone. For the Avatar set, I think it's the most complex set I've ever created. I used four different LED lights to emphasize the silhouette and the forest as a whole, and as well four different UV black lights to emphasize the neon colors and the neon plants to make it look like they're glowing. I used the overlay video assets from Artlist and Artgrid Creators Pack for replicating fireflies over the pond. The idea was to create this kind of iconic canyon cliff. When the visual effects and the practical effects works together, that's when the best results are made. I search on Artgrid for canyons and then found some footage that I really like. To make it look real, I used a lot of layers with clouds, both in the green screen area and as well in the foreground and in the different layers. I knew from the beginning that I wanted to create the moon in such a way that the light would reflect from below and create these dramatic shadows. So for the Blade Runner, I really enjoy crafting all the parts to try to get the same colors and same vibe as the original. The Lava Problems revolutionized at least my kind of filmmaking. If you want to go through terrain and houses and between them, you need to have a small form factor lens. I used easily four to 5,000 individual cuts with a matte knife in the styrofoam to be able to create this kind of harsh glacier feeling of thick wall. It was really fun to create foreground. It really made the whole wall pop and made a certain depth 
to the image. The best part of creating miniature sets is really to inspire other people. I want to become a good filmmaker. I want to become a good visual artist. And as well, I want to learn everything there is about architecture and scale and dioramas and to kind of create a profession that doesn't even exist. So now it's time for me to go and create some new worlds. So we hope you enjoy this video. If you did, you know the drill. <laughs> slap it, slap that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel with that notification bell on to never miss another video from us. Also, a huge thank you to Sebastian for creating those amazing miniature sets and putting our creators back into good use. If you want to get your hands on this pack filled with amazing high quality assets like film grains, film mats, transitions, textures and more, all you need to do is subscribe to one of the offered plans on Artgrid or Artlist. If you already have a paid subscription, there's an available download link on the home pages. If you want to see more of Sebastian's work, make sure you check him out on Instagram. We're also having a live Q&A with him, so make sure you follow us as well. Now let's talk about that giveaway. One lucky winner will win an Artlist Music subscription alongside our Creators Pack. All you need to do is comment down below what was your favorite miniature set and why. Here are the five lucky winners from our last giveaway. Congratulations to you, my friends. Until the next time, stay creative. Huh!